subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Keeping your cloud data and resources safe, is a shared responsibility between you and Azure. Keeping track of created resources across the organization, and ensuring they comply with your security policies, is a full-time job for security operations. A single misconfigured option, can expose customer data, or provide access to internal systems to attackers, trying to penetrate your network. Luckily, Azure offers several tools to help identify security issues, secure your services, and harden your exposed network. Azure Security Center is one of the primary tools used to detect threats. Security Center allows organizations, to control and monitor the security of all of their running resources, using intelligent threat detection, to protect them from cyber attacks. As part of that threat detection, Security Center provides recommendations to close potential security holes and ensure compliance with your corporate policy and security guidelines. Security Center provides an easy-to-read dashboard which shows compliance, security health, and security alerts. This is available right off the main Azure portal dashboard, or through the search window. You can view collected security alerts directly in Azure Security Center on the overview page, through command line tools, or using the REST API. Selecting the Threat Protection Tile presents more detailed information, as shown in the image. Azure Monitor is a service for collecting and analyzing telemetry. It helps you get maximum performance and availability for your cloud applications, and for your on-premises resources and applications. It shows how your applications are performing and identifies any issues with them. The diagram shown gives a high-level view of Azure Monitor. On the left are the sources of monitoring data. At the center of the diagram are the data stores for metrics and logs. On the right are the functions, that Azure Monitor performs with this collected data, such as analysis, alerting, and streaming to external systems. Imagine you are security engineer for a large manufacturing firm. Your company works on several big contracts. Clients send you their confidential designs which are then stored in your Azure infrastructure. Plenty of hackers would love to get their hands on the next generation designs, and it's your job to protect them. Azure Multi-Factor Authentication supplies added security for your identities, by requiring two or more elements for full authentication. These elements fall into three categories. 1. Something you know, which might be a password or the answer to a security question. 2. Something you possess, which might be a mobile app that leaves a notification or a token generating device. 3. Something you are, which typically is a biometric property, such as a fingerprint or face scan used on many mobile devices. Using Azure MFA increases identity security by limiting the impact of credential exposure. To fully authenticate, a malicious hacker who has a user's pass password would also need their phone or their fingerprint. Authentication with only a single factor is insufficient, and without authentication from Azure MFA, a malicious hacker is unable to use those credentials to authenticate. You should enable Azure MFA wherever possible, because it adds enormous benefits to security. Configure Multi-Factor Authentication 1. Sign into the Azure portal using a Global Administrator account. 2. Navigate to the Azure Active Directory dashboard using the Azure Active Directory option in the sidebar. 3. Select MFA under the Security Group. Here you will find options for Multi-Factor Authentication. 4. Select the additional cloud-based MFA settings link under Configure. A new browser page will open, where you can see all the MFA options for Azure. Set up conditional access rules for MFA. How to set up conditional access policy rules, that would enforce MFA for guest users accessing specific apps on your network. 1. Switch back to the Azure portal and select Azure Active Directory greater than conditional access. 2. Select new policy from the top menu. 3. Name your policy, for example all guests. 4. Select users and groups to open the panel. Select select users and groups. Check the all guest and external users checkbox to apply this to all guests. Select on to close the panel. 5. Select cloud apps or actions. Select select apps and press the select group. Choose an application where you want to enable Azure MFA such as Visual Studio App Center. Select Select and then Done to close the panel. 6. Review the Conditions section. Select Locations and then configure it for any location. 7. 
Under Access Controls select Grant and make sure that Grant Access is selected. Select the Require Multi-Factor Authentication checkbox, this is what enforces MFA. 8. Select Select to close the window. 9. Set Enable Policy to On. 10. Select Create to create the policy. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.